Happy holidays to everybody. I hope you had a good season and that you're healthy and, and, and happy and, and doing well. Um, seller side, so those of you who are just new to it, I want, I want to take just a moment to explain a little bit about this. This is a weight bearing exercise. It's not weight lifting. For those who understand seller side, we know that weight lifting is limited only to the muscle doing the lifting, but weight bearing is on every muscle, every cell of your body over 100 times a minute. And we can utilize and manipulate the body by altering the angle of our body in different positions so we can focus the effect on different areas of the body. And that's one of the advantages of the cellar sizer because we're not excluding certain muscle groups even though we focus on certain muscle groups. We have the entire body collectively working over 100 times a minute with more weight on it. That's every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, protein, fibers. It's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. I believe that's true. I'm 62 years of age now and I am running around like I'm in my 20s and 30s and having a blast. And I know we have all of us a greater health potential. What we're all about is helping you to achieve that greater health potential. So we're going to be talking about some of the different movements that we can do um, briefly and with this cellar sizer. But just understand that cellar size is not typical exercise. It's a movement that involves fluid movement through the body. So as we're moving up and down, we're opening up the lymphatic channels. We're opening up the circulatory channels. We're challenging balance and equilibrium at any age. We do different movements that focus on the digestion and elimination processes by taking the smooth muscles and putting them through a little washing machine on a day-to-day -day basis. We loosen up the lower back. We work to increase circulation to the actual disc in the back so we can imbibe the disc with more synovial fluid and increase flexibility in the back. We show people how to reduce stress and tension. We do the same thing that basically you'll see a parent do anywhere in the world with a child when they're fussy. They put the, the baby over their shoulder and they gently move the baby up and down the baby relaxes. We can get on a cellar sizer and because we're too big to be put over <laughs> somebody's shoulder, at least most of us are. But we get on a cellar sizer for two to three minutes, we gently move up and down, we relax the shoulders, back, buttocks, and see what kind of a massage effect that has on the body. There are so many additional benefits with regards to the cellar sizer, and for those who are investigating it, we look forward to having you try the cellar sizer and seeing what you think, and then being able to share that with other people as well. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be giving away to one one of our lucky people, a, a cellar sizer. But I want you to understand that if, if you don't win, we're going to extend a discount program for those of you who are, who are tuning in. If you use the name Seller Size 2019, Seller Size 2019, you, in, our, in the discount code on our website, you will actually get a $60 savings on the unit of your choice. So, um, and then for those of you who are joining Facebook, it, it, all you have to do is go to Facebook and type in, and you're on it right now, but if you share it with your friends, just type in seller size, and Christine, what was it, seller size? So to join the group, Yes. to follow along with what we're doing this yeah. year, just seller size, join the, yeah, it's just, a group. Just, right just go to people. seller size, it's in, it's in Facebook. So here's our unit, it will come with the balance bar. Everything fits in the carrying case, and it's pretty easy to pop open. And I'm going to have my son come on over here. Come on over, Justice. Did you grow up on the solar sizer? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you sure did. The whole family did. Okay, and if we bring the basket over here. All right, we've got everybody's a couple hundred names in here. Several hundred. Several hundred, okay. And we're going to have you, you um, Justice. Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. All right, and I want you to reach in there and grab one. Who will it be? Who will it be? And then hand it to me. Okay. And I'm going to read it. Santa Claus. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations to Maria Meng Schmedemark. And I hope I pronounce that poster correctly. But Maria, you're the now proud owner of a 
brand new solar sizer. We'll get that shipped out here right away. Here, Justin. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. I want to thank you, all of you, who are part of the solar size family. You have meant the world to me and to my family. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great experience helping people reach their greater health potential. We all have one. And when our cells and the cells of our body are stronger, healthier, and working more efficiently, our body parts are going to be stronger, healthier, and working more efficiently as well. With Cellar Size, we're going to launch a program right now, at the beginning of the year, with um, a volunteer, someone who works with me, that uh, is, is new to, to Cellar Size. In fact, she hasn't even really started Cellar Size yet. But we're going to do a weight loss program. So anybody who is interested in weight loss, you're welcome to participate and, and join us as we do this. But in, in any weight loss program, in any activity, I'm going to share with you a principle that I have found to be true. And that principle it is something I believe all of us need to be aware of in order to be able to reach our greater health potential. And that starts right here in the mind. So whatever it is we want to accomplish, we have to be able to see it up here. I've often said, many of you have heard me say it, in order to have what we have not, we must first become what we are not. As we become what we are not, then what we have not becomes the natural manifestation of the person we've now become. But in order to become what we are not, we must first be able to see ourselves, each other, that which is around us and that which is within us, not just as we are, but as we can become, which is the way I pray that God sees each one of us. You see, the moment we see ourselves not just as we are, but as we can become, then we become a person of vision. Some people call it faith, the ability to see things not just as they are, but as they can be. And so it starts there with that vision. As we hold on to the vision, it grows into a desire. Now as we nurture the desire with prayer, meditation, proclamation, declaration, affirmation, the desire grows into a passion. The, pa the passion compels us to action, to the actual action. And the action creates end result. So where does it all really begin? It begins with the vision. Ideas affect the way we think, the way we think affects the way we act, the way we act to a large degree determines our results. If we want to take charge of whatever the result is, I believe we need to first take charge of the vision. Ideas affect the way we think, the way we think affects the way we act, the way we act to a large degree determines our results. As we take charge of the ideas we are exposing ourselves to, then we become more proactive and less reactive. As people allow the ideas and conditions around them to take charge of them, they become less proactive and more reactive. So the first thing in, in, in the weight loss program, and we can apply it in many different areas of our life, is to see yourself, not as you are, but as you can become. Now, whether we ever achieve or not isn't as important. And the conditions around us may never change, but the conditions within us will start to change. And as the conditions within us start to change, we're going to respond differently to the conditions around us in order to achieve that vision. That's where it starts. So, I, I, if you're dealing with weight loss right now, I want you to like yourself for where you are right now. Appreciate yourself. There is power in gratitude. If we have a condition that we're fighting against, whatever it may be, I akin it to, similar to a dark room. If you walk into a dark room and you're fighting against the darkness and you're kicking it and you want it to stop and when you're done fighting, it's still going to be dark. The difference is in the character of the person you have become in fighting against it. You become depressed, frustrated, angry, anxious. All these negative qualities that lower your level of energy and ability to achieve. I tell people, when you walk into that dark room, and that dark room can be any number of things. It could, it could be an addiction. It could be a health condition. Um, it could be weight loss. 
whatever it is. We don't want to fight against that which is wrong. When we fight against that which is wrong, we empower the very thing we're fighting against. So rather than fight against that which is wrong, let's focus on promoting that which is right. You see, when you walk into that dark room, for most of us, over on the side, there is a dimmer switch or a light switch. When you hit the light switch and you begin to turn up the light, what happens to the darkness automatically? It's dispelled. And as the light turns up, you're able to see the obstacles in the room that maybe you couldn't see before. And now you're empowered with the ability to go around them, over them, through them, or under them. See, that's what I want you to focus on. Appreciating who you are right now. Being really grateful, affirming that. Seeing in your mind the person you want to become. First step of faith, the ability to see things not as they are, but as they can become. Hold on to that vision. Find a picture of what you want to look like or who you want to become. And, or an old picture of when you felt better about yourself. Put that up. Focus on it. The second step is to appreciate the body and communicate with it. When you talk to the body, you're going to thank the body for where you are right now. And then you're going to thank the body for helping you to achieve what's important to you in your life. That process starts a mental vision that grows into a desire as you nurture it with prayer, meditation, affirmation. In fact, we're going to open up the program so people can share their affirmations, their proclamations, their declarations with each other as we proceed. So Christine, I'd like to bring you up and... It's good right. to see you. <laughs> Thanks. This is Christine, and Christine has an objective to, to lose weight. And so that's one way of looking at it, fighting against the fat. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to be promoting health. We're going to be promoting the body to do the job that it can best do, and we're going to thank it for doing it. So all we have, when, we're, when we have weight loss issues, we have stored fuel. We have calories, and we want to get access to them. As we get access to them, they'll, they'll burn off. Now, there's three basic ways that I teach that we can lose weight. One is diet. So, with respect to diet, irrespective of what you're eating, I'm going to suggest you want to supplement your diet as much as you can with live foods. Now, you may have dead processed foods, that's what we all eat that. But also, supplement your body with live foods every day as much as you can. Those live foods respond differently to processes in our mind because there's intelligence imbued in live foods and we can literally communicate with them and it can, can respond. So live foods, and when you bless the food, communicate with it, connect it, connect with it. There's intelligences within the food just like there's intelligences within our body, within the cells. Thank the food for helping to keep you healthy and strong, and but focus on the idea that, hey, you're losing weight in the process of enjoying the food as well, and enjoy it. Second principle, don't eat your biggest meal late at night. You know, when we eat a meal, one of two things happen. We're going to either burn it as fuel, or we're going to store it as fuel. And since we're not very active at night, try to eat lighter at night, or more vegetables, or foods that are not high in calories, because if you're sleeping at night and you've got all this fuel, body can't burn it, it's just going to store it. And then next is we need to understand how to ignite the fuel that is already in our body. I want you to think of it, a field with all this dead brush. If you take a match and you put the flame to the dry brush, it ignites it and it starts to burn it off. Some people call that thermogenics within the body. But we need to ignite it. The cells of our body need oxygen to burn calories and utilize nutrients. So one of the things we're going to be working on first is opening up our bronchial tubes and our lungs so we can increase the oxygen into our bloodstream. The increase of oxygen in and of itself will increase metabolic processes, metabolism. Second, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that, 
And then second, we're going to work on strengthening the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees because the biggest muscles of our body are in the thighs and the buttocks. We want to be able to harness those muscles because they have a huge demand for fuel and they burn calories. So in order to utilize those muscles effectively on a cellar we want to first target on strengthening the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees. And this is great for people that have knee problems as well. So I'm going to turn our camera over to a cellar sizer and I'm going to show you the first step and then we're going to show you the second step and then depending on where you are in your own particular physical health, we'll show you another step. And then with Christine, we're going to be basically on a weekly or every other week basis, we're going to be revisiting how we're doing with the process. And you're welcome to share, share your experiences at the same time as we go to the, um, we're sharing it at Seller Size. Right. And when you're already in the Seller Size group, you can just search on Facebook right. for Seller Size and then join the group. We'll quickly add you to the group at this point and share anything with me that you think is valuable as well as what other people might enjoy. Okay, okay. so the first thing we're going to do is, and people often ask me, should you wear shoes on a solar sizer? I'm going to tell you no. <laughs> and unless it's under doctor supervision, we wear shoes. Shoes are very restrictive. And then we go out and we try to do something more strenuous and we end up damaging our foot or pulling the muscle or ligaments or creating plantar fasciitis because the foot has lost its flexibility. But when you're on a cellar size, you're like, all right, so um, our feet will become more flexible on a cellar sizer. If we wear shoes, the shoes are restrictive and for bouncing with shoes on the cellar sizer, the foot wants to move but it can't, that can cause actually um, more pain in the actual foot itself. So by being barefoot, the shoes or the feet will start to become more flexible, which they're supposed to be. Okay, so first step, opening up bronchial tubes in the lungs. And for those of you who like to sing, or for those of you who um, your voice is very important for projecting, this changes your voice quality as well. It gets to the other one-third of the lungs that most people don't get enough oxygen to. It helps to open up the bronchial tubes and the lungs. Um, when people begin, often they'll sound a little wheezy initially, and that's okay. After about two to three weeks, the lungs and the bronchial tubes sound much fuller, much more open, because they are. This is an exercise for the lungs without having to go out and do a lot of long distance running or swimming. And, and you don't do too much when you first begin because the bronchial tubes of the lungs may be sensitive. So you may only do it for five seconds when you first begin. That's okay. Keep in mind that what I'm going to show you also pumps the lymph system all throughout the chest cavity area. Excellent for women and men. And as we pump the lymph system and the circulatory system, meaning we increase the oxygen to the bloodstream, we increase metabolism, but the increase of oxygen, also through the pumping up and down, can increase that oxygen blood flow to the brain. So you don't want to get dizzy. So be careful when you first begin. But it, it goes, it sounds just like this. You stand on the mat the whole time, you're not jumping off the mat. You bend at the knee, stand up, breathe in, come down, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. It's all through your mouth as an exercise. It sounds like this. It goes. And when you're done, often it changes your voice quality. You'll hear it um, in, in, your, in your cell. But we've increased the oxygen in the bloodstream. Now we're going to work on the knees. And so we spread the feet apart, keeping our back straight and our feet flat. Now you can hold on to the balance bar for, to, so you can stay back. You don't want to lean forward. If you lean forward, it takes the weight off the thighs. We want to work these muscles. And so we're going to lean back, keep the, the, uh, the back straight. And you're going to start off walking in place. Now the reason for that is we're working all the muscles and ligaments in the front part of the knee. It's very gentle but very effective. The hips are dropping down into the mat, which is good to help with the lower lumbar some, but 
This is how we're going to build up the knees. You're also going to feel it in the thighs. As we get stronger, then we're going to start to do the Jamba Run. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Jamba Run, most all of us develop a love-hate relationship with it. We love it because it works. We hate it because it's tough. It's the most intense aerobic activity I've ever experienced, um, harnessing those, those muscles. And you'll do repetitions of it. These muscles will burn up the glucose and the sugars, the most readily available energy source within the body first. When you do repetitions of it, it's going to go after the white adipose tissue or the fat that is accumulated within the body as fuel because we keep demanding fuel by doing this. So let's stand just like this. And I can pretty much guarantee you, irrespective of what kind of condition you're in, after about 20 seconds of this, most people are really going to feel the burn here. So when we're done with that, we stand there and lift the heels up and down. It pumps the calf muscle. The calf muscle has been called the second heart. As it pumps, it helps to increase circulation back up to the heart. It increases oxygen and blood flow back to the thighs. It helps reduce or eliminate any lactic acid. So we do this while we prime the legs, breathe in and out, prime the legs for the next set, and then we do it again. Now I've got a daughter who lost 10 pounds in one month doing that. When I was teaching the John Run all around the country when I do trade shows, I would ask people, are you familiar with the John Run? Well, they, they weren't because I'd invented it, but it was a great lead-in. Then I'd have them come over and I'd say, oh, it's been, try it. It's been just like this. Every time you do the John Run, metabolic processes soar. And they take time to come back down. Well, all day long, I'm up there showing the chamber run, just for a few seconds. But every time I'm doing it, my metabolism is going up and slowly coming down. Well, it never has a chance to come down when I'm constantly doing it all day long. Um, I drop down to 3% body fat. That's not healthy, but the 3% body fat my, I could eat two dinners at night, didn't matter. I couldn't put on the weight. I wasn't tired, I wasn't sleeping. The job around was extremely effective. I ended up going to the doctors and I had a full physical. They came back and they said, David, you're in excellent shape. You got the metabolism of a 19 year old. Well, I said, that's not normal for me. He said, oh, it's just your body type. No, it was a job around. It, when I backed off on the Java run, it took about a month to get my rear end back. And my wife witnessed all the thing. <laughs> it's a legitimate, powerful way to lose weight. So again, if you have the ability to do this several times a day, even just for a short period of time, you can keep your metabolism operating at a higher level. And that helps, helps to burn the weight too. So we're going to start there by encouraging people to increase the oxygen the, into their body, get to the other one-third of the lungs. We want to deep, breathe deeper anyway. The increase of oxygen increases metabolic processes. And then um, we're going to start to build up the knees. Not everybody's going to be able to do this initially, and that's fine. <laughs> start off just bending and walking in place. Let's build up the front part of the knee. And and then share. Share your results with us. Let us know what you think. This, um, this is going to be fun for those who want to participate. And if you need to call, if you have any questions at all, uh, give me a call. You've got, my phone number is 800-856-4863. Uh, and share it with those of you who, you, or those friends or people you care about that may want to participate as we go through this program. Christine, do you have any questions?
I don't. <laughs> All right. I think we're set. We're set. Work on the affirmations. Um, like, thank you, body, for helping me lose weight. Um, I appreciate and love your body. Thank you, body, for, for the health that I have and the ability to move forward. Create the vision in your mind. And then, if you can, get a picture or something and put it up in, so that your desire grows, your passion grows. The communication, your cells respond to what we say, think, and do, and our, how we feel. So feel good. Where you are right now is very important for you to be able to move forward. So it doesn't matter where you are in your life. <laughs> the choice that you make now for 2019 is going to help move you in a direction that you choose to move toward. Thanks very much. Thanks for participating. We'll be in uh, touch. And the, the, the following programs will be shorter. But I do have additional techniques I'm going to be sharing with you for those who have uh, specific issues. So visit often. Um, we'll try to save these in our, our library. We will save these in our library. And you'll be able to have access to them again in the future. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And look forward. And thank you. So